we can all agree that one of the first games that you think of when you think Atari 2600s is, well, Pitfall. Which is ironic, because it's not even made by Atari. It's actually made by the, the first third-party company ever to exist, Activision. Kind of a cool little history with Activision. Activision, in a nutshell, pretty much, they broke away from Atari. Atari sued them a couple times. Atari lost, so... That gave Activision the rights to make games for the, for the Atari, and that told everybody else they can make games as well. So, overall, I mean, hey, if it's, if it's not even made by Atari, it can't be good, right? I mean... Now, as you can see on the cartridge, the label, the labels, they're different colors of green, and that is not by design choice. I mean, it fits perfectly with this game, but... Um, the, the glue they used to glue these labels on was cheap, and it went, it fell through the, uh, label. It went through the label over time. That's just how it is. Most Activision games are like this now. Another thing you notice is, oh, why are there these lead, there's, there's these ledges in the cartridge. You can't see them on camera, but you get the idea. And then there's these, these ledges, and then there's these indents. Like, what are they for? Here, I'll show you. Therefore, if you have another Activision game, say I got boxing here, and you can just stack them really nicely, like that. Obviously, you can't really tell um, from video, but if you get two Activision cartridges together and you stick them, that's pretty cool in my opinion. See, Pitfall is actually one of the few Atari games, I shouldn't say that, because there's actually, I've actually noticed a lot of Atari 2600 games, but you don't need to press the reset button on the system. You can just start walking forward and your timer will start going down. So yeah, you're Pitfall Harry. Kind of hard to tell. But, you know, once you get good at, like, at it like me, you're jumping over logs, which, who, who's rolling the logs? That'll forever stay a question. An unanswered question. Also, why you fall in that hole and don't land down there is also beyond me. I mean, it's time to be late. Oh yeah, these crocodiles are a pain in the ass, too. There we go. So pretty much you're just going from screen to screen, and your goal is to collect, um, well, collectibles. Not like that. There you go. You're supposed to collect, I can't remember how many of them. Damn it! God, I'm so dumb. My reflexes are old. I, I haven't played this game in forever. But you get the idea. Copyright is 1982, though, which seems way late for Pitfall. I don't know. But now you do have to press the reset button to get the system to work again. Now, this game was revolutionary because, oh my gosh, it's a platformer. Is it a great platformer for today's standards? No, I don't, I don't understand why people like it so much any, anymore today. I'd say it's pretty fucking outdated. But, still kind of cool. Ooh, oh fuck. So close, too. Oh. But yeah, and then you got. You can go lower down if I can find a ladder. Yeah. Don't, don't step on the campfire, it kills you. So yeah, you can just fall. And you can get down here. Watch out for the scorpions, they'll kill you in one shot. But yeah, you can go underneath, underground. And overall, this is a pretty, for Atari standards, this ain't that bad, this ain't that bad of a game. So I'd say it's also pretty revolutionary, too. Because there's no other games like this on the Atari 2600, except for maybe Pitfall 2. So, overall, pretty dope game. If you have an Atari 2600... 
you probably got the console with Pitfall, because it's pretty fucking common. Like, you have Combat, which is the most common, and then you have Pac-Man, which is pretty common. And then I'd say after that is probably Pitfall, just because a lot of people had it just because it's a good game. But would I recommend playing it today? Not really. There's way better platformers on the NES, even. So, not really. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments, Hey, the boy Pitfall is a masterpiece. Yes, I get that. Master uh, Pitfall is a masterpiece. But, grow up. It's outdated as fuck. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.